Well, we continue our 3-2-1 look at Nebraska's position groups here where we tell you three things we learned, ask two questions, and make one prediction. Today we're on the defense, and we start with Nebraska's defensive line. And I think the first thing we really learned this year is I don't think Nebraska has necessarily the right pieces in place for a 3-4 defensive line. And I think that really showed, especially against some of the elite-level Big Ten offensive lines, especially teams like Iowa, Michigan State, Matchup wise, Nebraska's defensive line, they had the effort, the physicality you wanted to see, uh, but they just didn't actually match up as well physically, in my opinion, uh, with some of the elite level lines in this conference. The second thing we learned with the Nebraska's defensive line is the pass rush got better, but it's still not there. And I think Nebraska, you know, they drew their first holding penalty in a Big Ten conference game since Malik Collins and those guys were on the D-line. And that really, to me, put into perspective just how bad Nebraska's pass rush has been since guys like Vincent Valentine, Malik Collins, and even Randy Gregory went on to the NFL. The Huskers have just not had that NFL-level pass rush type player and they, they didn't have it again this year as you, you just didn't see really one guy uh, be that major sack guy after the Colorado game when Nebraska put up seven sacks their sack production went down by uh, quite a wide margin the rest of the year and finally, the third thing we learned is Mike Dawson really likes to rotate his defensive linemen. And I, I think you're not going to see a defensive lineman at Nebraska play any more than 30 to 40 snaps per game uh, in the near future. That was kind of the blueprint he laid down in place this year where his top guys played about 30 to 40 snaps a game. And then a lot of backup guys would see anywhere from 5 to 15 snaps just to continue to keep guys fresh. And I think that's the long-term formula for this Husker defensive line in the future. Now on to the two questions for me. Number one would be, where will the pass rush come from in 2019? There really wasn't that guy. I mean, Ben Stilley, Khalil Davis, Carlos Davis, uh, they all could bring in at times, uh, but will Nebraska get that all Big Ten level type of pass rush from one type of player? I think that's still one of the biggest questions that needs to be answered. My second question revolves around Damian Daniels. Will he be ready to take on that bigger role at the nose? Right now, Carlos Davis was working really out of position as Nebraska's number one nose. He's probably more of a defensive end, but when Mick Stoltenberg got hurt, Carlos Davis had to move inside to the nose, and that's probably not the best week-to-week -week matchup. Nebraska's best nose physically is without question Damian Daniels. I think it's more a matter of getting him into better shape where he can play that 30 to 40 snaps per game Mike Dawson wants to see. And finally, here's my one prediction for Nebraska's defensive line. I still think they're at least another year away from being at the level Scott Frost, Eric Chenander, Mike Dawson want this group to be at. I think a lot's going to depend about what some of the newcomers can bring and then what can Tate Wildeman do what can guys like Casey Rogers bring to the table after being injured and registering this past year uh, but they need to get bigger longer players on the defensive end spot and guys like Damian Daniels need to get themselves physically ready to be the nose tackles for this defensive front going forward and that signs it off here for our 3-2-1 breakdown of the defensive line up next we'll break down Nebraska's linebackers